What's up, nerds? nerds? What's up, nerds? Guys, Master here with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest, spoilers! My friends uh, who doubted Webcore as to when they would be getting out this next set, saying they would be late June. Oh, ho, 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 no, my friends. We're in spoiler season. As of this recording, I think we're about a week away from getting the full list of cards, and then another week after that for the full set release. I don't know. But I do know that I've got spoilers from Webcore. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Webcore, for including me in this uh, spoiler season. I really do appreciate that. And I'm really excited to be able to share with you guys this powerful card. I kind of dig it. And I think it's something that's going to be really important as we're going forward. I will tell you this right now, my friends. Listen to me, my young crunks. This set is going to really make an effort to fix the meta. I'm assuming. I've only seen a handful of cards but I'm going to talk about what we are talking about from a perspective of just look at the cards we're getting. Now, if you haven't seen it already, Nalthazar has spoiled the first uh, card that has come out uh, for spoiler season, which is Desert. The card, I will let you read it on his video, but essentially the way it works is you could, any conversion that's done by a player, both sides, it can sting you too. For every gem converted, you lose one mana bonus to all of your mana bonuses. And it does not stop at zero. It can go negative is what we've been told by Webcore. <laughs> Confirmed by the company itself. It is brutal. Essentially, you can go into negative mana bonuses as a result of it. That is insane. And it's got all of the space in a flutter, in a Twitter, if you will. But fear not, my friend, because today I come with the antidote. Today I bring to you the solution to what would ail you. By the name of Demolition Field. 12 mana, Masterpiece, Colorless, 4 Shield. It is a land. Activate 2. Gain 4 mana, which is not impacted by the conversion rule, so you still gain the mana. Then destroy random opposing support. This can affect vanguards. Guys, how was this a solution <laughs> to, to that? Activate 2 is really difficult to accomplish sometimes, guys. True, except... What is this? Boop! <laughs> Activate each two. So two for red, two for blue, two for green, two for black, two for white. That's 10 activated gems on the board. And if you're running conversion, which I suggest you do, you pop one of these, you destroy their support. Right? <laughs> so let's say that you convert something and you wind up getting three of these matched. Or let's say you drop Galta. The conversions still happen and the gems still match and destroy and you convert a bunch of stuff. You still gain the mana. So if you pop three of these, that means you're gaining 12 mana, right? You pop four, you're gaining 16. Don't listen to me for math. Do your own math. But if you have four of them, that's 16 mana that you're gaining regardless of what your mana bonuses are lost for. In addition to that, you're going to destroy random opposing support, four of them. So unless my dog is over there just stacking up mountains of supports, right? A Pajani might be one that this would be a little less effective against. And in fact, you might want to avoid using it. But this is a powerfully, powerful control card for destroying supports on the board and gaining mana. And guess what? This has 10 activated gems on the board. So if you're any running any conversion, blue, green, white, uh, with the Healer of the Pride, whatever, you're going to wind up actually putting yourself in a place where you're able to pop a lot of gems off of that, gain a lot of extra mana, and this really helps do that second thing. Remember how I talked about in this meta, your card's got to do two or three things at least? This gives you mana, it destroys an opposing support as well as vanguards in one card. In one card for 12 mana. That is a solid solid land my friends this absolutely is a chaseable defense card this becomes a ruinous ultimatum that doesn't affect creatures but there are a lot of other ways to deal with creatures in the meta right now this deals with something that we've never really had before which is mass support removal which i sweetly dig what do you think is this the perfect answer to a card like desert that's going to come in and destroy the meta oh, oh. this is the least powerful card out of the three that i got <laughs> Yeah, this card is dope. I love it. It's a chase card for me. I can't wait to get it and play with it. I think it's going to have massive functionality, and I think it's going to see a lot of play in a lot of decks because it's colorless. So if you're running a support-focused build, Webcore is going to make them pay. With that said, my friends, what do you think? Is this a chase card to you? 
How would you use it? Where would you use it? What planeswalker would this be broken with? I have ideas. I'd love to hear yours. Comment below, get into the Discord, let us know where you are, and get into the Discord because I have a whole section dedicated to the new cards for you guys to see how they're all coming out, how we're going to be playing with them. A lot of speculation in there. I'll give you some insider tips as to what we're discussing inside of our content creator groups that are actually, and spoilers, to show what is happening and what we think is coming down with this. All speculation, nothing we've had confirmed by Webcore except for the cards that we're spotlighting. I have two more cards to spotlight, and I have a brand new mechanic I'm going to share with you guys as well. But until then, my friends, swords up.